Hello everyone, welcome back to episode 4 of the Cavopolis series. As you may know, if you've been keeping up, and as you may not know, if you're new to the series, this is an alternating YouTube and Twitch series. So since the last episode, there's been some progression. Specifically, we did some more digging. We went through the basalt. I haven't completed these stairs because I'm far too lazy. And I'm fairly sure I've put all these in the right place. We did some basalt, we did some magma blocks, which hurt, except if you are sneaking but then you can't go that way dug through the lava now to do this we had to create some special uh, swim gear which was lava resistant fire resistant uh, we went down through nether bricks we went through soul sand went through soul soil and we can't get through the deep slate so that's what's next now those of you who know me may know that there is a secret project brewing and to begin it, I would definitely like to get all the way down to bedrock. It's easy to get up to bedrock. There is bedrock at the top of the wall, at the top of the wall, top of the world. I need to get down to bedrock. I want to go from bedrock to bedrock before we go to our, you know, secret plan. Alpha. I don't know what to call it. Come up with a name. List me in the comments names for secret projects. And try not to give it away because everyone who's watching this video probably knows what the secret project is anyway. Let me show you about the uh, the the suit that we made. Here's the suit. Whoops. It's yeah, but not this. N no, not no, not. It's a fire protective helmet. Fire protective boots. Blah blah blah. This stuff is made out of protective fabric, which is made out of cured rubber, which is made out of rubber, which is made out of latex, which is made out of. <laughs> Slime, which is made out of magma cream, which is made out of blaze powder and a slime ball, and that's made out of also magma blocks, which is where we came in. So, this stuff also, of course, presumably, hopefully, obviously, allows you to walk on the magma blocks as well, so that wasn't a problem for very long. Uh, I did die swimming through the lava, my helmet broke, and I was so close to getting out of the lava but uh, it turns out that when you start taking a lot of damage and dying in lava you can swim quite slowly as well because it's probably extremely painful uh, so yeah I died in the lava so in order to get those magma blocks apart I've, uh, I've upgraded a lot of this I hope you might have noticed I did some of this between episodes before the stream uh, I made this sort of uh, what do they call them in mechanics where you can go underneath the car you know the, the going under the car slots um, I put this barrel in to hold pipes and wrench and more wrench and this thing, the unpacking die. So there's an unpacking die and there's a gear working die, which both go into this multi-server press. We have used the gear working die before because I believe that when I, uh, at some point, I had made a tin gear in order to make something else. But the unpacking die is what we needed to make in order to turn magma cream into slime balls. So we've got slime balls, we've got blah, 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 blah. And thanks to this, even though it's quite slow to do everything one at a time, thanks to this, we managed to make two sets. That's my second set of um, the the protective armor there. I managed to make them very quickly. Um, so this is we're going really well. So what I want to do is I want to try and progress to the point where I can break through that basalt. Because even with um, a pickaxe, I'm still not allowed to break the basalt. I mean, it's not a matter of having a strong enough tool. It's a matter of the progression of the game. So let's have a look at what we need to do to do that. And I will uh, let's get cracking. So one of the things we're going to need to do is get through the steel. Oh, let me show you. So started on steel. And I've made this sort of old curve over here because what I, I don't want to dig a whole bunch of places and then have to root everywhere from A to B in order to get all the stuff here. So I've made this compression dynamo, I've made the sterling dynamo, I've made an induction smelter, a blast chiller, and a pyrolyzer. Now the pyrolyzer is currently burning oak logs, turning them into charcoal, but crucially also into creosote oil, which is creating, uh, which is being burned in the compression dynamo. So currently outputting four RF per tick, but it is you know, quite capable of producing 40, it just doesn't need to, which is great. And this one, I'm just chucking anything that will burn into it if I don't want it. The other thing this can do, which if you might not notice, but in here there is actually something which is heavy oil. Um, the coke making process, as in coal coke, which is required for steel, produces heavy oil, which we could turn into refined oil, which we could turn into fuel. So it's a bit of a few steps. I haven't done it yet. And here we should have some coke. Do I not have coke? I thought I made coke. Guess we'll find it. 
So this is where we're going to want to be. So let's get cracking on making a couple of these next ones. I quite like the fact that I can easily make obsidian now with lava in a blast chiller. Because we're going to make the ender chest and the ender tank, which actually might start helping us expand the base. Let's talk about that uh, later. I've actually made steel at some point. You can see I've made coke. So I made steel and I've made the ore extractor upgrade tier 2. I've forgotten I've done this much stuff actually. This all happened on the stream. So I've got tier 1 tier 0 and tier 2 because tier 2 you have to have power in order to extract anything from it. and this is creating debris which is brilliant glowstone and quartz so that's all uh, uh well that actually all lives in here how much debris have i got now do you suppose i've started putting things in here look so i've got 12 ancient debris which i apparently pronounce differently depending on whether i'm <laughs> putting an adjective in front of it or not uh all this never we got loads of stuff last time all from the nether all just from getting down that far uh, we are going to go to the arboreal extraction. This is going to make latex out of trees. And this looks fairly easy to make. So uh, let's get that done. That was easy. Now, what's this going to do? It says in the quest book, can we make pets need to uh, dark oak, birch, or spruce tree to get resin? Now, in other versions, this you, you put it next to a log, and it pulls it out of the log and then breaks the log. So let's find out if that is true or not. Let's go and put some dirt down and grow a tree. So, let's see, uh, let's see if it does what we think it does. It may need, may need power. Does it need power? No? Get rid of these. So, are you breaking this lock? We'll come back and find out. What's next? It's going to turn into a fractionating steel, which can begin to turn resin into rosin and tree oil. Yeah, it's going to do that. Since I was bored with waiting for this so much, I actually made it extract. <coughs> also, in between episodes, I, I dig an underground. And there's just uh, hoppers and then chests. I'm not sure if the chests are needed, but then they go into the pipes. The pro chests probably aren't needed, actually, because hoppers do have an inventory. Um, they go into the pipes, the pipes go into here, and anything comes out of there. So it's uh, two nickels and an iron to make invar, but uh, you can only do even numbers. So let's do half as much of that as that. It's going to make some more nickel because I use it all up. Uh, one, two, three. Let's see if These are now made of, this is normally gold in, in the, the normal mod. It's now blaze rods, but we have a ridiculous amount of blaze rods. Uh, zero. <laughs> we can make many. We have the blaze powder. A ridiculous amount of blaze powder, that's for sure. Ta-da! I bet you need power. One of you is going to need power. Yep. So you're making this <coughs> resin very slow. Is it because you're not a tree anymore? I've chopped down your leaves? Doesn't seem to be breaking this, so I'm going to guess that we actually need it to be an actual tree. Let's, uh, Let's put some of this back. Oh yeah, it lit up. As soon as that became a tree, it lit up. Let's take these down. Quick experiment. Are you still a tree? It's still lit up. And then when I broke this... Yeah, it's, it's off. <clears throat> so you can't actually tell if it's working, but... Uh, apart from the fact that there's a light on it, so I guess you can easily tell if it's working. But you, you get the idea. You can't tell from looking at the inventory, like it is, if UI, if it's working. Oh, hello. So we can get rid of this. Let's come back to this and see what happens. Now, we want to pick this up again, I guess. Because um, we don't... 
It doesn't even have an output as far as I can tell, so maybe we can just run some liquid pipes? Or something? <laughs> to, to the thing? Let's make the ender chest. Good idea. But uh, the ender tank. Let's make the ender tank. Even better idea. Uh, Invar is two iron and one nickel. <laughs> so let's make a bunch more of this. That's fine. It, we've got 32 nickel, which means we can make, you know, 64, 96 of these. I might as well just overproduce at this point. That might be correct. Let's uh, let's let that happen. Oh, and then of course all this stuff. So I've been yeeting stuff into there, but I made this sort of ridiculous array of chests. It has many, many spaces for storage, and I'm just putting stuff in it as necessary. Then this can see them all. And because we put that pneumatic thing upstairs a while ago, the pipes are quick, which is great. So it doesn't take too long, unless I'm getting sticks from all the way by the tree farm. It doesn't actually take too long to get things from A to B, which is brilliant. But it still prioritizes the, the drawers, of course, because they're closest. Right, this is full. So let's get on with our ender tank. Okay, it's a quest as well, which is great. Uh, it's a standard recipe, which is even better. I might even be able to make it it's straight away. I thought we had bits of ender. Like, fragments of ender? I must be thinking of my other series. I'm going to have to kill some endermen. <clears throat> In the end... We have to get to the end. Oh no. Also down to minus 21 to minus 40, which is below where we can get to. So we're going to have to get below the basalt. No, it's not. Ah, okay. So the endermans will spawn here somewhere. So let's work on a simple, I suppose, simple-ish mob farm. Let's just make a dark space. <clears throat> Garth Marenghi's dark space. And then down here, we're going to end up with... So from minus 21 to minus 40, blazes, wither skeletons, ghasts, endermen, and forgotten. Which is here, yes. Okay. Bit scary. Not shapeless. Small square. I don't know what I can use to ensure that um, that to stop this light from there leaking into here. It's a problem I had upstairs as well. Um, I guess it's not too much of a big deal. Because if I disappear for a while, we should get some mobs spawning in here and then go back and have a look, right? So let's do that. This is the netherrack area. So when we go back to crafting, it's a bit laggy when I do that. Don't have a space for netherrack? Yes, I do. <laughs> okay. Uh, okay, we'll come back to that. Let's see how much we have in our tree. We may need to make some more of these. Just switched off. Interesting. So we may have to leave the leaves the leaves after all, which is very annoying. Okay, you just do your job. <laughs> So the the basic tanks are cheap, which is great. You saw me use one just now. Um, we'll go. I'm going to show you again. How many? What sort of order are you? So the basic tanks are from mechanism. We've got one here to hold whatever I want to put in here, which has been creating obsidian. I filled that with lava, put it on top of here, and it just emptied into there. This has got a little bit of heavy oil in it from when I was making coal coke. So those are cheap, which is great. I might have a spare one. I thought I had a spare one. Do I have a spare one? Yeah. I did maths and got it wrong. Let's keep doing maths until we get it right. So, 
if we make some more arboreal extractors and then we can have I'm going to try and have three basically how much have you got? some so you can take any amount of fluid out with a tank because it doesn't have to have a bucket in it you've got resin in it so let's go and put the resin in <coughs> crafting in here In here. Whoosh, what are you doing? Yay! You're doing your job. We didn't really have to go and get the ender tank. We do need to see if we can got, get an enderman to spawn. So let's uh, nip downstairs. We've got tree oil. Is that what we wanted? What's the job here? Rosin and a crude oil bucket. What's that? You are made from pressing or... Oh, it just comes out of this. There's a 50% chance, so you need more milli buckets. So you didn't get one. 50% <coughs> chance. <laughs> Means I'm guaranteed to get one after two chances. No. I mean, no. That's creosote oil. The crude oil, I think, comes from heavy oil, which is what this bucket was here, right? Crude oil bucket, crude oil, comes from water, tree oil, biofuel. Hmm. We could some chiffy gearly separate some of this bituminous sand that we've been looking at. Is that cheap? Compass, machine frame, tin, constantan. Yeah? Nothing's shown up. Is that too far away? Okay, you know what? So I've noticed actually that sometimes baddies just show up when I don't want them to. <laughs> because I dug a hole. Like a big tube. And then I was, at, I was far away from it. So instead of doing this... Just make this even longer. <clears throat> don't know. Maybe they'll spawn. Let's go back. But also make sure we actually have our sword. Yo yo yoink 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 Nope. <laughs> the sword. Keep it. Nothing spawned. So we made a bigger hole. Uh, hopefully something will spawn in that. I just want my endermans. Let's go and have a look at our trees and see how much stuff we've got. We only need one piece of rosin. Got anything in you? No. So having multiple doesn't help. I'm going to do this. Are you going to get anything? But to be fair, you have bone meal in you. Let's try that. You have multiple trees. Don't forget that. <clears throat> what have you got now? 111. Have some more? Thank you. Got anything? <coughs> there's, no, uh, there's no cooking sound here. Look. There's a cooking sound here. Same sound as if it's a sound. <laughs> yeah, not cooking. We may need multiple trees. That's fine. Before we can manage that. It was not worth making a Paxel. It has just cost me more iron and died just as quickly. I thought it would at least have more durability because it was made of three tools. No. Okay. So that's one. Might be able to make a second room. Delicious. Rah! Right. One more here. Go. 
go. <laughs> What's the matter with you? There's a tree. Okay. Where are you? What? What rules do you need? There is a tree. Can you not see the tree? Do you not like this tree? Is it a bad tree? I'll give you a different tree. Well, I guess you're allowed one. Okay, while you do that, let's go and check on the mobs. Nothing is spawning. <laughs> There's a big dark room and nothing is spawning in it. I just smash more of this away. It'd be impossible not to get mobs. So easy to get mobs like that. Now you get them by accident. If you forget your torch and walk this far away, you should get mobs. Oh, come on. <laughs> oh, it's completely dark. You have no excuse not to spawn. Nope. <laughs> Nobody there. Aha! Aha! An enemy has spawned. Why are you so rarely spawning? You should be spamming this place with baddies. I have been told, and I checked again on the wiki, you have to be 24 blocks away. Now this is a 1.16 map, so we need to have not just 24 blocks away, but a light level of 7. Let's first see how many blocks we've got. Seven or less. And the closer to seven, the less chance of a mob spawning. So we've got 21. It's 21 blocks long. Now they won't spawn more than 128 blocks away. So if I'm here, that's 22 blocks away. So they're not going to spawn in here while I'm watching. <clears throat> However, if I go here, I should see them spawning now. The only difference then is how dark actually is it over there? And how dark can I get it? So let's find out. Okay. There it is. It says client light 654 through 210. So all of this is zero light. All of this. So everything here should be spawnable as long as I'm not standing right there. So what if we did <clears throat> take a few more blocks? It also has to not be within 24 blocks of a player spawn. I think that's miles away, so we're not worried about that. We're at minus 25, right? So we certainly don't have a spawn at minus 1. But there's no mobs. So we've got these to do. Crude oil bucket, crude augmented mix of tree, oil, water, and biofuel in the alloy mixer. We're filling up our spaces, aren't we? I mean, we've got this space. You're j Fine. You're there. Well done. Um... You are containing of resin. So what did you want? Well, why don't you go in there where you belong? There we go. <clears throat> you want tree oil, water, and biofuel. So tree oil. Water. We didn't get any of this yet. Did we get any of this yet? Yeah, there we go. Plenty of it. Tree oil and biofuel. Biofuel mechanism. This is a moss block in an eroder. Oh, that's easy. If you told me that before, I would have had it going by now. Let's make a load of it. Give me some moss blocks. One, two, three, four. Three, four. That's half a mi That's That's a lot. Let's get a real bucket because it's not going to count. Yeah, but give me. Can I do this? How do I get you into a bucket? Alright, let's do this. Refined fuel, converting heavy and or light oil in a fractionating still and sulfur dust made from light oil. I guess we'll use the light oil then. I think that is coming from... This is heavy oil. 
have a look at light oil. Light oil. <coughs> and crude oil in the fractionating still. So we're going to make a couple of these fractionating stills. I don't think I have any yet. Oh, there's one. Oh, you're doing that. Okay. Uh, you're empty. We're cramped here. I don't like this very much at all. So creosote here. That's fine. You. So light oil is crude oil in the fractionating still because it's heavy and uh, and light and some bitumen. Uh, and then if we use heavy oil also in the fractionating still, we get refined fuel and nothing. If we use light oil in the flat fractionating still, we get refined fuel and sulfur. We get refined fuel from both of these. So if we had three fractionating stills, we could set up a sort of chain that produces a lot of refined fuel. Uh, and we've got some crude oil in here, right? So we can put that in there. Let's start with that. Yoink. You go in there. You're going to make stuff. So you're going to use maybe 100 mm buckets. Yep. And you gave me 40 of that and 60 of that. That's probably fixed. Ha! Huh. Can't connect a universal pipe to. Ha 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 ha! Interesting. Hmm. What was that? <laughs> oh, it was one of these. It was some sort of lead or something. Oh, okay, okay, okay. One of these got it. So you need to have bitumen in you, just so that nothing gets... Because it was temporarily an input. Now it's an output. It doesn't matter. Okay. So you can be unlocked again. Well, I'll lock you anyway. So if I do this, you'll disappear again. There's nothing in you. Correct. Boop. So you're taking heavy oil. You're taking heavy oil, which is not correct. Um, ideally, we would prevent that. Oh, something in you as well. Resin. We should make another one of these for the resin, actually. Yeah. You go in there. You give me this. So one of you should now be taking light oil because that's all that's left. Oh, it's been done. Has it been done? Yes, because they both produce the same output, so they can. How much is in there? Nine hundred <laughs> more, please. You are going to output from the back. <coughs> of course, you're making stuff, which is annoying, but we'll live. And then into here. You go into here from the side. Yeah. How much have we got on you now? Seven. So if I put more, you've got crude oil in you. That's not what I meant to do. <laughs> okay. Get it out again. Go in there. And then this should get some more in it when that's ready. Yes, it was working. Okay. Woohoo. Right. And then sulfur is made from the light oil in the fractionating still. So that's this one. So eventually there'll be a piece of sulfur. Eventually. And all this will move when I have, you know, got round to it. It wouldn't be so bad if I hadn't had one thing spawn. Hello, there's one. There you are. Hello. Come on then. I can see you. I do spawn if I go home. Come on. Get him. And the man. Get him. Yes. Okay. No. <laughs> Just need to look at them and they'll come to you. 
Come on then. Maybe I need to make this ever so slightly longer. Well, let's let's try and find out where I where I was standing in order to make. It. Also, I need the hopper jumps down there. So I think I was standing sort of here. Let's see what happens. Of course, we have our ender pearls now, so we can do the things that we wanted. Yes, just. Oh, ho! screw you, heavy. Uneasy alliance. So standing here, no good. Did you notice how the gas spawned in a three tall space? By the way, that gas should not have fit in there. Standing here, nothing. Standing here. Baddies. Seems like there's different rules. Also, how the heck am I supposed to get <laughs> the drops if the gas is going to be all the way over there, right? Gas tears, though. It's worth going in, honestly. I need a, an iron door and a button. Let's do that. Then you go in here. This is a bit manual, but we'll get there. All right, well, give it me. <laughs> what? Why did it give me the crude oil that time and not? Did I shift click? So now we just need to make our ender chest and our ender tank. We've done that chapter. I'm glad that we got two ender pills from two ender mens because that gives us both of these. Now, of course, you need two of each of these for it to make any difference. Uh, and so we need to go and get more ender pills, but at least that's working now, so we can do that. Uh, why are you in here? Go away. Nether ores. Right, time for nether ores. These are made from core ore extractor upgrade tier 2. Wait, hang on. Don't we have that? So we need the fragments. Let's see if we just got some. I'll be over here. That seems good. Nice. So we've got all the bits. Now we get all the extra bits. Do you know what? We've done well. Um, I need you to stop making raw gold, please. Instead of waiting, I'll just turn this off until it gets one. <coughs> turn it back on again when we've got one. We also want some of this. There we go. We also want some... Uh, so, uh, I guess we want another compacting drawer for the glowstone. Sure, why not? Yay! Ended there. Good. Didn't put it somewhere else, did I? <laughs> How many little. Yes, I did. Raw gold one. Yay! And then. Get going. Sweet. Now we should have some gold ingots waiting for us in the ingots area. Over here. This section took no time. Controller? What's this from? Oh, there's baked potatoes in here. Brilliant. Take you. Two, three, four. And then. Two, three, four. This is so enigmatic. Where are my baddies? There's an Enderman here. I was standing here in an Enderman. Spot. <gasps> They're all spawning now. Amazing. Come on. We should probably have an ender pearl slot. Hmm? <coughs> Where should that go? Up there, probably. There. Uh, uh, and then... Oop. ta -da. And then this controller. Right, let's make this.
Oh, I like this. It's exactly the same recipe, but you don't have to make the torches. Thank you, Quark. You still have to make them here. Controller. Chapter complete. Very powerful for automation. What does this do? It told me to make this controller, but I have no idea how to use it. <laughs> So I guess I'll just not... What's down here? Blaze. Blazes have not spawned yet, which is really annoying. <clears throat> Neither has a forgotten. Maybe we can go and just wait. See what happens. You know, it's too long. When they do spawn, they don't come to me. Brr. I don't know if water will work here. Because the endermens will just disappear. Oh, well, I think that'll do it for this episode. Thanks, everyone, for watching. I uh, hope you'll join me in the next episode, which will be a stream. At 19.30 on Tuesday evening. Ah, another one. Get him. And uh, I hope that you've enjoyed the episode. If you did, please click the like button. If you're new, please consider leaving a subscription. Press the subscribe button. You know how YouTube works. And I hope to see you on Twitch next time. Yeah, come at me, bro. Until then, thanks for watching. And I'll see you.